I'd like to think I became a better coach from going one and six and finishing seven and two, learning, adapting to what we had to do to try to improve, putting young players in situations where they could be successful. Um, I think that I've always tried to figure out what was the strength of the players and put them in the best positions to be successful. And, you know, we've, I feel like we've done a good job of assessing our players and over the last few years, and hopefully that'll hold true this year and we'll have a good season. Any significant changes that you've made in your approach over the time, or is it? You know, I think that uh, I'm a little bit old school. I don't, I, I resist change with a lot of things because I feel like I've been around some pretty good coaches that have had a lot of success in this league, and I like to try to stay to that formula. But I think with today's athlete, who's always changing, you have to be willing to change. You know, one of the, we, we practice differently than we did um, years ago, because of the CBA, you got to adapt. So, um, you know, I know that there's certain beliefs that I'm not going to deviate from. The team being first is one, and always trying to play the best players in competition. Those are tenets that I think you don't ever lose sight of. But uh, as far as trying to, to hear what your players say or put them in the best positions, you know, I certainly think you have to adapt and change.